Hey guys, Inventor719 here, and in the clip you're about to see was from a video I was filming. It was supposed to be how to make a DIY clear toaster, but as you're about to find out, it, it didn't really work so well. Now, basically, usually I have an unsuccessful project like this one. I just delete the video clip, move on to a new project, and call it a day. Because if I upload an unsuccessful video, you guys will probably just dislike it, unsubscribe, or whatever you want to do. But basically, this is a project I've wanted to make for a long time. I've always wanted to have my own clear toaster. And I mentioned, a, mentioned it a while back, and you guys wanted to see it as well. Now, before you think I just made this video to show you guys why it's not going to work, Stick around to the very end and I show you guys that I will be making it again in the future. I just decided to upload this quick clip today to give you guys an idea of a bit of the behind the scenes. And instead of making you guys wait an extra few weeks before the final project, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Anyway, without further ado, please enjoy the little clip I'm about to show you. And instead of just unliking the video or disliking it, Please uh, give it a like if you want to see more of the clear toaster, and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Alright everyone, so time for the testing. As you can see, I have loaded in a piece of bread. It's a pretty big piece of bread, but that's all I have. Basically, as I showed you guys before, we're testing out the one side that's open concept. The other side is still closed off. I basically want to see if this setup works before moving on to anything else. I have it hooked up to an extension cord, so I can easily pull the plug if things go south. I have a glass of water just in case anything really goes south. And basically, it's pretty dangerous in the current form because you could easily burn or electrocute yourself by touching one of the elements. And there's an open, cir open circuit board with a big transformer, coil, whatever that is. And I'm going to be using lots of caution. I'm going to be holding on to it with these rubber pliers somewhere maybe over here and then I'm going to be pushing it down very carefully only touching plastic components just in case there is an electrical issue um, so don't try this at home especially if something goes wrong but here we go with the testing of the clear toaster in three two one oh dear well that was very scary stuff started to melt a little bit I didn't get, get it quite in the locked position though, so I'm going to bend that back to how it's more or less supposed to look. And we're going to try again really quickly. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, that didn't sound good, and now it's not working. So it looks like I found the solution to the problem. Believe it or not, it wasn't anything to do with my sketchy coils. Yes, I've grounded everything, so it should be safe now. The problem was over here at the bottom. Basically, how these work is the power comes in, goes through all the coils, up then I guess we'll go through these to the other coil. And I seem to miss, upon reinstallation, attaching this white wire to the end pin connector before running into this coil. So I think what happened was the red here, which must be power, like the actual power starts here. So instead of starting here and dispersing through all the coils before heading back to the circuit board, instead what happened was it would short out and only this part would get power, which is why they overheated then eventually blew up. May not look super great on camera, but it was kind of scary. Anyway, so now I think unfortunately this toaster is fried, so I'm going to have to look for another toaster, but if you want to see me complete this project, please don't dislike this video for a failed project. Instead, if you want to give it a like and subscribe, you might see it again in the future, and I'll do it properly with some glass walls and a box to cover the electronics. So thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, as always please like, comment, and subscribe.